Oh my god, blood in them streets! Market is crashing, stocks are crashing, cryptos are crashing. Should you sell everything? We're gonna talk about all that after the intro. What's up guys, this is JC and welcome to the Wealth Engineering channel. I create content to help you make, keep and multiply money. And how do we do that guys? We do that through stocks, crypto, real estate and business. And today, we're gonna talk about the market because now stocks and cryptos are crashing guys. Crashing. I've been getting message from you all weekend longs. Some guys are sending memes, making fun of my investments. But guess what guys? I'm happy, I'm calm, I'm chill, I'm relaxed, right? A wise man once said guys, be greedy when others are faithful. And right times for me, it's time to be greedy. Is it though? Is it? Should, should I be greedy? Should I sell everything? Because I don't know guys. Some influencers here are selling everything. Maybe they know better than I do, right? They have, some of them have million subscribers, right? You've seen the thumbnail? You know what's up? Everyone is a genius in a bull market. But when we are in a bear market, that's when we truly knows who's good at something and who's not, right? And I'm not necessarily saying I'm good. I'm not here for financial advice. This is, I'm, I'm a financial educator, however. All, these are all hebs and flow, right? Markets crash, market rises, right? People are fearful, people are greedy, right? The fear and greed index, look at that. At 41, is there still room for it to go down? Absolutely. But let me ask you this. Is that the best moment right now to be selling stocks and cryptocurrencies, right? Because me, technically, I actually sold my stocks, all my stocks last year, at the beginning of last year. To me, the market was way overvalued and it was a matter of time before we see correction like that. And we're getting pressure in many different areas, right? So we need to understand about where the pressure is going so that we can, you know, we can ride the waves. So guys, let me, let me show you this. If we're looking at the S&P 500 right now, look at this drop. This is a significant drop. The market is trying to recover. There is like a shooting star candle here. Hey, but, but is that, does that mean that we're over? Does that mean that we're done? Not necessarily. Fear index is at 41, but some people guys are still thinking that the market could go even lower. Are they right? It depends on which market are we talking about there? Now, if you're talking about the stock market, absolutely. I think their stock market is overdue. It was supposed to be crashing all over the place. So. Mr. Meet Kevin here is selling basically 99.9% .9 of all of his stocks and cryptocurrencies. So again, the wise man once said, be greedy when others are fearful, but some of them are very fearful and selling everything, right? Now look at crypto guys, fear and greed index for crypto is pretty low guys. We're really at the bottom of the fear and greed index. If we look at the historical chart guys for the fear and greed index, Look at that, we're pretty low on the bottom. And historically, when we go lower on the bottom like that, there's not much room for it to drop lower. And we normally have a huge rise, right? We normally have a huge rise after. Look at this point right here, after the bottom, we went all the way up, right? Look at this point right here, we went all the way up. Does that mean that past action will dictate future results? That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is when the market is low, right? When the market, the market is low, it, is, it could go up. And usually what's going to happen is sooner or later, people are going to realize that, hey, the stock market is crashing, the US dollar having issues here. Now there are currency issues. There is even war threats out there and we're gonna get into that. But hey, eventually you might wanna move into something that is limited like cryptocurrencies. Some cryptocurrencies that are backed by true value and the value does not change. The value only gets stronger. So eventually people will gravitate towards what's valuable. And eventually right now, when the stock market is overvalued, then there is so much more room to drop, right? So it's different, right? Here, there is much more room to drop. Here, we're already at the lowest point already. And I, don't, and I think we actually might see 25,000 Bitcoin, guys. I actually think we might see it, but I think the market will recover very fast. And from there, it might go, uh, it might go high. But it was still too early to tell. In my Patreon, guys, I go over it and we do that forecast every two weeks so that we can observe the market and plan, make plans along the way. But guys, that's another idea. What I'm saying is you should be investing long term. For when you are long-term investors, 
you are drooling when you see markets like this because why you can get your favorite cryptocurrencies at a discount when the value doesn't change when the fundamental doesn't change the price change well hey you get you grab some of your stocks or cryptocurrencies uh, at a lower price and then you just stash it and wait for long term right that's why when you have a when you are a long-term investor you are more likely to make money most people lose their money guys it's because they're reacting just like this uh, guy right here meet kevin right because they're scared of what's going to happen they dump everything everything right you dump everything then it's not necessarily a good play not, not not in my opinion if you are talking about just stocks i agree but stocks and crypto right now the timing is not ideal to buy to to sell everything right um you should have probably sold everything at the top of the market right the market has been dropping for a while and then you sell come on man come on this is these are beginners mistakes guys these are beginners mistakes we're looking at the bitcoin chart we're at the lowest point of the market right here really oversold and then people are selling cryptocurrencies right if we look at the entire total market cap of cryptocurrencies including including the altcoins we're at the lowest point right here guys you do not sell at the lowest point that's exactly why i put this green and i put this red here is a buy zone here is a sell zone right simple easy clean but again i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice but when you gotta trade guys you gotta sell you gotta remember remember the rule of the game is you buy low you sell high right when there is a lot of fear in a the market then you have an opportunity to buy low right and why is there fear in the market there's a lot of news happening in the world right now which could create more fear therefore more market instability therefore more opportunities to buy your cryptocurrencies at a lower price if you have done your fundamental research guys do your fundamental research i don't want to tell you exactly which what what to do what not to do i want you to do your research and then make your own decision based on your own financial education i do a course technical investor course where i teach you exactly everything you need to know so that you can make your best decision based on your situation i'm teaching you how to fish instead of giving you the fish that's the way i like to teach so i'm not going to tell you exactly which crypto you should buy when to buy it but guys i'm showing you already a bunch of things that you should look into don't panic guys don't panic with the masses do opposite of what the masses is doing so if the masses are selling you should consider you know following a wise man's word next wednesday we may have an announcement from the fed right uh, inflation inflation surge could push the fed into more than four rate hikes this year goldman goldman sachs says and on top of that we're having some global instability here uh, 8500 us troops could be deployed right there is something going on with russia united states ukraine so guys there are something going on and that could put pressure on the euro currency which could also manipulate the US dollar currency. And hey, if we are about to print more currency, this is going to be a more issue, right? Because hey, we know what's going on when you print more currencies, the price have to follow with the amount of currency that is printed, inflation, which was the trigger of all these market crash to begin with. And on top of that, we have more, more needles that's going to pop the bubble. So. Are we seeing a stock market bubble burst? Maybe, maybe that's the beginning of it. I was expecting that since last year. Didn't happen last year. Maybe we're seeing the beginning of that this year, but we need more data, right? Stock market mount stunning comeback on Monday with Dow closing in the green after earlier thousand points loss, right? So that's what we're seeing right now. But does that mean that you will always be the case? after wednesday we'll we'll see exactly what's going on the market is not happy about those inflation and rate hikes right so they are worried about it and that could drive the market even lower so so there are unstable times ahead for stocks and crypto market but all that to say guys be careful who you listen to guys because some people that you're listening to they're not necessarily traders they're not necessarily long-term investors right and there are not and you shouldn't be following what someone is doing you should learn what is the best decision you should apply based on your current situation your age your income your lifestyle and this is exactly what i teach on a technical investor link will be in the description below guys make sure you can check it out but when it comes to me i'm clear 
I'm level headed. I'm actually very happy. The market is crashing. I had plans in the Patreon guys. We were making plans about that for months, making plans on what to do when the bear market comes right now. We're trying to estimate how long the bear market is going so that we can have time to load up on our best cryptocurrencies, getting ready for the next next leg. So with that said, guys, make sure you contact me. You can join me on a free discord. If not join the Patreon, this is where we go details on the forecast for the market and strategies that are possible based on what's going on here. With that said, we'll talk to you on the next one.